Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another review. And this time a different, um, d a different, uh, different review. Um, I think the first, the first time I, th I think, uh, first time I think I reviewed a, uh, a video game, but uh, it's more of a CD-ROM video game. And this is these are these are CD-ROM games that um, released in 1997. So I'll be doing 20th anniversary movie re uh, movie reviews. 20th anniversary reviews of these games, and we put the title for the titles of these next videos, these videos here, which are something that I loved playing growing up. This is one of, to me, this is one of the best, the, the best um, CD-ROM games I've ever played. Part of my childhood, especially for a show that I loved growing up as well, and I enjoyed p playing both these video games. I love these. I'll, even today, I'll still play these because I still have, as you notice, when I do all, pretty much all my reviews, when I'm facing that wall, see the old computer that I have, that still plays the old, the old window, the, the old Windows games. So, so first off, what I have, will be, which I'll be reviewing for both, is first I'll be reviewing the. Ready for math with Pooh, and the next one, which is ready to read with Pooh, and as, and so yeah, these games I just love. This is this is one of the best of video games, childhood video games I grew up playing. I love these I love these games so much, especially growing up with Winnie the Pooh growing, uh, as a kid. You know, loved it, watching all the time. And these games, I just loved. I just loved playing. And to me, these are like the best CD-ROM one. That one, because there's a couple other CD-ROM games I loved, and those are other ones I um, which I haven't reviewed though. This, those, and these games are considered one of the best CD-ROM games I've ever played. Because well, nowadays nobody doesn't play hardly ever play CD-ROM games anymore. Because everything is now digital. But I'm still. Playing, I guess I still, I can still play these ga the games on all on the old computer. So just a love and enjoy these. But for now, for the first one, I'll be settling with this one, Ray for Math with Pooh. And you know, just to be honest, these are some of the things you know growing up that helped te that helped teach me some of the simple things of these, which is a fact. You know, grow growing up, it is supposed to help educational things, and they did help me to help me. Growing up in a way, to help me teach. So, but yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Love the characters to death. I still enjoy them to watch them to this day. So, but as for Ray for Math with Pooh, um, Pooh Pooh wants you. Pooh as his talk is talking to the person who's playing the game. Wants you to help to build a garden for Eeyore. And. So uh, so many things that to help that helps you on the way, you know, for for helping for your favorite uh, hundred acre wood characters. Like for instance, you know, to help, uh, w um, which of course includes the skills to help you with when you're playing the game, including addition, subtraction, number forming, ca uh, uh, counting subsequently, so, so pattern sequencing, shorting, uh, sorting. Classifying objects greater than, less than, more or less, matching numbers, it is, and so forth. And I enjoy all the activities. Like for one for one game, like um, when you go to Pooh's house, um, there yeah, he he has like jars like that goes from one to ten, and then then ten to twenty, then t and then twenty to thirty. Where he helps you put like uh, one basket of with the number on it and put into that one jar, and so forth in each number order, which is number rec recognition and counting subsequent subsequently. And then one, the next um, one you go and and every each there's there's three stages for each for each uh, activity, and then after when you finish each activity for each level, go for. Uh, gopher has uh, has something that you can use to, for the garden. 
you know, just for like whether it's plants, like vegetables, fruits, flowers, or some stuff to help make uh, help with the garden, and so forth. And one activity for and um, but when we could go to Piglet's house, he where he has cupcakes, which is the subject for adding and subtracting. And like for you know for uh, one set of cupcakes plus another set of cupcakes. And when you get to other the harder stages, like when um for subtracting, which is funny, when you have all those cupcakes together and when you're subtracting, Tigger comes by and just swipes <laughs> takes some cupcakes away, that's when you're the subtracting part. <laughs> it's funny. Tigger comes and takes some cupcakes away to help us help you subtract. So or another one where um where there's this wishing well where you have Tigger Owl, Eeyore, Piglet, and Roo, where they help you so take um, a set of a set of some things and put it with the give it what the well needs. And also, each time when you do for each game you do in the game, um, whatever you, uh, for each little round, there is a little something they'll they'll like give like a dink sound for each round you do per level to help you keep track of counting how much you've done. Um, and one uh, one where um, there's Eeyore's calendar to help you draw out the num draw out the numbers for the calendar, and rabbits there uh, talking talking with Eeyore as well. Or we have with um, with Tigger and Roo where they're doing the greater and less uh, greater and less, and we're counting bugs like who has less and who has more, and. Then we when you go to Rabbit's house, where they're doing like sequencing patterns, you know, to make do like a little rain dance to make it rain, you know, we could uh, follow this pattern. Who is in what order here? Like, say for instance, it's Eeyore, Pooh, Eeyore, or Tigger, and they had to keep taking their pictures and keep on completing the sequences for each row, and then they do a little their little dance and all that for the rain for the rain uh rain dancing thing. Or, um, let's see the next, um, and then, yeah, and then the last, the, the last one, um, where is, which is my, which is my favorite of the game is at Tigger's house, where you get to, like, um, you follow the blueprints and you add to his, his, um, contraption to it and make new inventions. You follow the blueprint order. And I keep one at a time. Put each one in the contraption to make it form whatever uh, invention he makes. And which Tigger has always is, it's, Tigger has always been a, in the in this game. Tigger's house has always been the favorite of mine to play with. So yeah, just a lot of, lot of things I I just love and enjoy about this game and. It's it's a, it's a much shorter review because it, they, they, they talk about video games. It's not it's not like mo movies where I talk about what happens more in the movie. But this is a, just a video game, so yeah. Just the, for this one, I just love I love this game, and it's always been a childhood thing. Same with the other one for for reading, the one the Ray for read with Pooh. But yeah, more stuff you know for Gopher to get. You know, you to give to your garden. Looks really nice after I go. I got I get everything, and some of the things helped me learn. Well, growing up as a kid, you know, helped me learn some of the simple things of math. Same thing with the reading, and and also for this is like the newer look of the DVD. I um, so I used to have the old, what the old uh, CD cover was, but um, that was long ago. So I had to get like what the new what this new look of the CD cover is. But look, well, like ready, ready for ready to read with Pooh. I have the old. I still have the old, um, the old look for the CD ROM game, the cover wise. But yeah, ready for math with Pooh. To me, it's a classic video CD ROM game. Well, I'll never get tired of playing. Of, I always I loved it. I played it all the time. Same with ready to read with Pooh. With childhood growing up, I'll never get tired. Of this will always be a part of the thing that I always. For video games to me growing up with, and I still consider one of the best CD-ROM games, including the, the other one as well. 
And it's just definitely, and it's something different because it's worth 20, uh, 90, they, these were released in 97, definitely worth to bring a 20th anniversary review for. So yeah. So ready for, try to look in the mirror, ready for math with poo. Very simple, easy to work with. Well, it says ages 3 to 6, but yeah. I'll never stop tired of playing the playing uh, these games. That's why I have my old computer there. Why I like to play old CD-ROM games like these. But yeah. So, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the next one. By 20th anniversary review of Ready to Read with Pooh. But yeah, if anyone's, I'm sure not people not to know have no interest in playing these old games because everything they everything is mobile and digital and all that stuff now. But if anyone has an old computer like I do, and they still like to play old CD-ROM games, if any, anyone, anyone out there, I'm saying by chance, give it, you know, just give it, give it a, give it a go. You know, have a play with, have a, have a good play with, and if anyone has, if, probably have some fun playing. Because anyone, if, plus, if anyone is a fan of Winnie the Pooh as well, so. But yeah, 20th anniversary movie. Uh, I keep on saying movie because I'm so used to saying that. 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary review of the classic CD-ROM game, Ready for Math with Pooh. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned on the next one, on the next uh, CD-ROM review. Later.